once there was nothing, nothing but the spirit of all life. For a long time the spirit of all life dwelt in the nothing. Then, in the mind of the spirit of life, a dreaming began. In the empty darkness there was a dreaming of fire. And the colors of fire illuminated the darkness within the mind of the spirit of life. Then came a dreaming of wind, and the fire snapped and snarled, fed by the blowing of wind in the mind of the spirit of life. Then came a dreaming of rain, and with it a great struggle. For a long time, the battle of fire, wind and rain raged in the dreaming. And the great spirit liked the dream. So, the dreaming continued. Eventually, the battle waned between fire, wind and rain. The calm that followed brought a dreaming of earth and sky, and of land and sea. For a long time, this dreaming continued. The great spirit began to grow tired from the long dreaming, but knew the dream was not finished and wanted the dream to continue. So life was sent into the dream to make it real and for creator spirits to continue the dreaming. So the spirit of all life sent the secret of dreaming into the world. And the secret of dreaming entered into the spirit of Baramandi, who is the fish. And Baramandi descended to the deep, still waters relaxed it in the calm and began to dream. The dream took Baramandi to waves and wet sand. But Baramandi did not understand the dream and wanted to dream only of the deep, still waters. So Baramandi passed the secret of dreaming to the spirit of the Karaki, who is the turtle. Kariki paddled out of the waves, settled on to the wet sand, and began to dream. Kariki dreamed the smoothness of pebbles and the warmth of the sun. But Kariki did not understand the dream, and wanted to dream only of the waves and wet sand. So Kariki guided the secret of dreaming to the spirit of Bogai, who is the lizard. Bogai climbed onto a bed of pebbles, felt the sun's heat upon his back, and began to dream. The dreaming flew Bogai through the clear sky by the lift of the wind. But Bogai did not understand the dream and wanted to dream only of the smooth pebbles and sunshine. So Bogai ushered the secret of dreaming onto the spirit of Banjil, who is the eagle. Banjil harnessed the wind under her wings, soared in the cloudless sky, and began to dream. Banjil dreamed of tall trees and the blanket of night sky. But Banjil did not understand the dream and wanted to dream only of the wind and open sky. So Banjil released the secret of dreaming onto the spirit of Kunerang, who is the possum. 
Gunnarang scampered into the Talos tree, lost herself in the twinkling of stars, and began to dream. The dream sang Kunerang the rustle of yellow grass and white plains. But Kunerang did not understand the dream and wanted to dream only of great trees and the blackness of night. So Kunerang allowed the secret of dreaming to pass unto the spirit of Gangaroo, which is the kangaroo. Gangaru led high above the yellow grass, contemplated the white plain, and began to dream. The dreaming tickled the ears of Gangaru with music and song and laughter. But Gangaru did not understand the dream and wanted to dream only of the broad plains and the swaying grass. So Gangaru handed the secret of dreaming to the spirit of humanity. And man and woman walked across the land and saw all the works of creation given life by the dreaming of the mind of the spirit of all life. Woman and man heard the chorus of birds on at dawn, saw the red sun eat the horizon at dusk, and began to dream. They dreamed of joining in the music of dumbbirds, of dancing with the head bobbing in you, and of sinking into ochre with the sunset. They dreamed also of the laughter of children, and man and woman understood the dream. So they continued to dream, and dreamed again all the dreams that had come before. They dreamed of the deep, tranquil water, of the waves and damp sand, of the rocks and sunbeams, of the clear sky and breeze, of the trees and the night sky, and of the plains of yellow grass. And woman and man learned through the dreaming that all creatures were their spirit cousins and that they must protect the dreaming of all life. And they dreamed of their child, who they knew would soon arrive. And they dreamed of how they would teach these secrets of dreaming to his child who was not yet born. Then the great spirit of life knew at last that the secret of dreaming was safe. Being tired from the dreaming of creation, the spirit of all life entered the land to rest and recover. That is why now, when the spirits of all creatures become tired, they join the spirit of life in the land. This is why the land is sacred, and man and woman must be its caretakers, just as they protect the secret of dreaming. <laughs>